Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on Friday evening, August the 26th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at the race six feature this evening, folks. Just a reminder that at Del Mar on Fridays, post time for race number one is at 4 p.m., 6.30 p.m. post time for race six, the CTT, and Thoroughbred Owners of California Handicap, 11 furlong route test on the turf, fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up racing for $85,000. Contenders number eight, Private Affair, number one, First Settler, number nine, Farley Star, and number seven, Lily Faputz. Number eight, Private Affair, a rare Peruvian bread entry, racing in Nor North America, and also a 15-to-1 bomb that I put on top of my contenders list here for the Friday night feature. She's hit the board in each of her last five, winning twice, including a power run win in her second race back. Number one, First Settler, has posted a pair of circle trips in her last four outings, including a power run win in her third race back. Jockey Rafael Bejarano and trainer Neil Drysdale Sunder post from tonight. They've whacked the tote board with an impressive 71% of their entries settles the team to date. Race 6 summary, number 8, Private Affair, a 15 to 1 bomb. Tops my contenders list, which also includes number 1, First Settler, number 9, Farley Star, and number 7, Lily Faputz, 8197. In the 6th from Del Mar. The $85,000 CTT and Thoroughbred Owners of California Handicap. Bonus long shots. Charlestown, race four, number five, Little Dale. A 10 to 1 bomb takes a 12 level class drop as the overall speed leader in this claiming field. It's burning at her about tonight's distance of four and a half furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, race five, number three, Josie's turn, a 6 to 1 shot. Drops in class by five units. The overall speed leader in this claiming field burning at six furlongs on the dirt. So, but before I wrap up here at Del Mar, just a quick reminder, Saturday, a big day of racing at Saratoga, the Midsummer Classic, the Travers, $1 million stakes. And the reason why I'm mentioning the Travers on my Del Mar report, number one, I've handicapped in detail all of the stake races on the card on Saturday. But just a warning, we have a major hurricane coming up the coast uh, here on the East Coast on Saturday. And at Saratoga, as well here as at Del Mar, I always include suggestions for wet track and off-track conditions. I rework the Trackmaster power ratings to accommodate uh, those weather possibilities. So once again, you may want to take a look at my full Saratoga report on the Trackmaster website, which uh, will include, of course, the wet track conditions. So from Del Mar on a Friday evening, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.